Hi, I'm Richard, and today we're going to talk about how to get you a place on INSEAD's MBA program. Now, INSEAD don't release their acceptance rates. Some say they're as high as 33%. I've seen them as reported as low as 5%. But we ignore that anyway, because our candidates get in with a whopping 96% success rate. Today, we're going to give some of the insight that we share to help you get the edge over the competition. Now, in order to get on this course, work experience is key. The academic requirement is a 2-1, although they will let people have a 2-2. This is a GPA of 2.7 to 3.3, so fairly low. However, given competition for places, of course, having a 4.0 or international equivalent will help you out. But it's the work experience that is king. The average person has six years under their belt, and many will have over 10 years of experience on this course. Now, this course requires a 710 on the GMAT. That's a very high score. Only Oxford and MIT have higher, but so it should. INSEAD is consistently the number one ranked MBA program in the world. That's a 655 on the GMAT focus, although our candidates on average, thanks to the expert guidance we give them, can get in with a 40 point lower score, pushing them down to nearly 650 as the average for the candidates that we see get success. It just goes to show that having a plan really does help you to stand out. Now, tip number one, talking of plans, is a robust career plan. How are you going to use this MBA to have a profound positive social impact on the world? It's not enough to talk in general broad brushstrokes. No, they want to see your specifics. What are you going to do immediately after this MBA? And evidence that the career path you're going in does actually want MBA candidates and it will help you fast track. A very common uh, sort of candidate profile we see is someone who has got quite, up, quite high up in law, maybe they're a vice uh, president, maybe they're a partner, and they're looking to transition maybe into a more leadership role or a finance profession. Knowing exactly where they're going to apply and how they're going to get there is key. Number two, you want to align this with the amazing amount of electives that they have at INSEAD. Find electives that are relevant to your career plan. INSEAD loves sustainability, so if you want to become that head of ESG at a bank, then talk about the sustainability modules. Go further. What are the societies? Go further. Who are the lecturers and the professors who teach on sustainability? Go further still. What have they written or done, and what are you going to talk to them about over a coffee? The more specific you go, the higher chance you have of being admitted in. Now, thirdly, very importantly, INSEAD has a second language requirement. Despite being a French business school, it is taught in English. You don't have to be able to speak French as your second language. But if, like me, English is your first language, you must, you must be able to prove a second language in order to get in and be able to speak it in a practical, near business sense. They will ask for evidence of this, which makes INSEAD rather tricky to get into for those from anglo speaking countries who don't have a second language under their belt. Number three, they are looking for superstars. So this tip is all about rapid career progression. You need to show that if something on average takes two or three or four years, you got there in one or two. They also love management experience. If you don't have people management experience, talk about project management. Talk about the impact that you've had. How did your team win that pitch? And how are you the hero of that story. Storytelling and narrative is absolutely key and you need to cultivate an image of a successful person who is going places and is going to use INSEAD to leapfrog them above the competition. That's just a small number of the tips that we're going to cover today, but we have amassed over 21 INSEAD specific tips that we'd love to share with you. So contact us using the information on screen now if you'd like to work myself or one of my amazing team of ex-admissions professionals to maximize your chances of success. Tip number four, be presidential. They will ask you about your values and who you are in the application questions. If you didn't know, you don't write a generic statement for any MBA. Most will ask at some point what your career plans are and how the MBA will help you to achieve them. But beyond that, it is a long list of individual questions for each program. 
knowing what those questions are and preparing for them over a multi-week process with a professional will help you to stand out. They're looking for a president, a leader of men and women who is going to achieve great things, ideally a positive social impact on the world. I love the INSEAD talk about family. As an aside, it's one of the only universities I've seen that has support for uh, bringing your children on board. They understand that the average age and profile of a candidate is someone who's likely to be starting a family or has a young family. And I love that 30% of candidates bring their spouse with them and many have children whilst they're on the programme. I think it speaks volumes to INSEAD really caring that they talk about family. So if you've got family, talk about your family values when applying. We've even helped some students get the GMAT waiver whilst talking about the impact the GMAT would take on their family and of course proving that they have the quantitative skills necessary to succeed even without the GMAT. Lastly, they really care about extracurriculars. There's a whole section on this. And whilst many universities don't ask for extracurriculars, INSEAD clearly want this well-rounded presidential person. So talk about what you've achieved. This isn't really just about liking long walks on the beach and playing a bit of football. It's about having an impact. Have you published anything? Have you achieved any awards at work? Have you started something and helped people to get where they want to go? There's a lot of ways you can hit the extracurricular marks, including doing extra study courses in your own time. Coursera has these amazing free courses that can help you get a head start. So really think carefully about what extracurriculars you've done and what it says about you as a person to help you to get in. Now that's just a tiny amount of the insight we have for this fantastic program, one of the most popular that we work with. If you enjoyed this video, please do give us a like and subscribe and check out our other videos in the MBA series. We've also got an exemplar linked below and we'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you have a budding question, I try and get back to all of the questions that were asked to help as many people as we can. Lastly, if you'd like to work with myself or my amazing team, contact us using the information on screen now. Most importantly, best of luck.